most people think the homeless are only those old guys that you see lying on the street. But it ain't so. Lots of homeless are just like me. Kids, moving from one shelter to the next. I'm not saying those other homeless don't need help. I'm just saying that we do too. loved from the beginning I loved the street and I still love the street and I still go out on the street it's a challenge to work on the street and uh, it's hard I think it's the hardest photography to do is street photography because you have to really think on your feet you have to make a picture in that very moment and I'm old school in the sense well I'm an analog photographer but I'm old school in the sense that I that I don't believe in cropping that I believe you have to make the picture in, in the camera I think often your subject matter can show you what the picture is, makes it for you. So I'm not a strong believer in heavy duty concepts when I do portraits of people. I sort of like it to come from the people. I, I try and make, make iconic images. That's my, they're hard to make, but that's my goal, is to make images that stand on their own. That, that's what I try and do. Not to tell a particular story. I think it's, film tells a story, you know. Still pictures should be single, very powerful images, and I've always felt that way. I think it's harder to be a woman than a man. I'll definitely admit that. But I think there's a, also an advantage to being a female 
as a photographer, if you're a street photographer or like a, a documentary photographer, because I can walk down the street and I can knock on a door and someone will let me in. I, I'm less threatening than, than a man. I have no regrets. I, I, given given uh, the opportunity to do something differently, to start again, I would still go in that direction. I love you know, photographs about, about humans, or animals, I love animals too. But, you know, or humans and animals. But I think that the art world, you know, they're always thinking in, in terms of decoration, and those kind of strong images aren't as decorative. And, and it's too bad, because my favorite photographs, and I think historically the pictures that I love or the photographs that are about reality. Whether it's portraiture or, or street shooting or whatever, they're all about reality. Nice to teach you also. I've shot both. I did a book on prostitutes in India years ago. That was in color. And I've done some work in color, but most of my work's in black and white. I think I think in black and white when I shoot in black and white. Well, the prostitutes, they would only allow me to shoot it in color, but I'm glad that I did it. I learned a lot by shooting it in color, and it was different because it was in color. Personally, I think color is much more difficult because it involves color. It's another element, but most of the subjects I pick are, are more like black and white subjects. So um, I consider myself more of a black and white photographer. Well, I mean, it, I think it survives as much as color photography survives. The situation for photography is very comp complicated today because of this, it, where magazines are. I mean, there's no more, you know, very little, I'd say, like photojournalistic magazine photography today. There's a lot of celebrity photography and there's conflict photography, but we don't see that, you know, long, great photo essay anymore about everyday life. That's just not published. But whether it's black and white or color, it, it doesn't seem to matter. It's just not published, that kind of story. Well, there's an oversaturation in a way of image, imagery, but great imagery is always welcome and great imagery is always necessary. So I think we all miss seeing great magazine stories and hope that it'll come back. I mean, they're still geographic and they do, I mean, thank goodness they're still geographic and they do, they do stories, but not, I mean, only a certain amount of photographers can work for geographic. So, but you know, most of the magazines are either news stories, you know, conflict, or, or stories about floods or earthquakes, and and just that simple story about a small town we don't see. 
Well, I used to work a lot for Life magazine, so I used to do assignments all the time, so I have to say I miss that a lot. Thank you. I miss them all. <laughs> Quite honestly, I miss them all. I wish they'd all come back. I mean, there are more magazines now than ever. They're just not the magazines that are doing those kind of you know, social documentary stories. It's too bad. I think it's everybody's loss. I do.